In last week's episode... Forget it. They got your family. Listen carefully. I don't know who you are, but I have a special set of skills. Thank fuck no errors. But what the hell am I looking at? Oh, what? How thin do you reckon these things are? Track 10,000? I don't think I can etch that. If this is a 10,000 track, this must be 10,000 to the ground fill. Oh, crap. I can't reliably etch 10,000 tracks. So it looks like I have to double the thickness of every track and double the keep out on the ground fill to, to at least 20,000. Oh god, look at all the veers. You sh you're shitting me here. How big is this thing? 100 by 100. We'd find tracks like that. That ain't gonna happen. The other option is modify it. And I don't even know what a kite cat is. Freaking, how do you do anything on this? This is the best part I've ever, as I've ever got in kite cat. Where are these parts, man? I can see pads. What do you turn off freaking things? Edge cuts, I don't need that. Echo one, what the hell's that? Comets. Drawing user. Bottom mask, I suppose I don't need that. Front mask. Bottom silk. I think I need the silk because that's the writing. Bottom paste. Adhesion. Oh, is that the glue under the ICs before they... Yep. Got nowhere. Still can't see the parts. I can see some writing here. Why is a copper above the writing? A week later, it looks like you click on this. Duh. Did I tell you I was a keycat expert? Maybe less copper bottom. Is that it? I've got to laser print this thing with 10,000 gaps, iron it onto a PCB with an old clothes iron in a toilet, do the same thing with the bottom layer and somehow line it up with 10,000 accuracy? Freaking no chance. And on top of that, drill holes and solder wiring at top and bottom for links for these vias. I need all this copper fill back. Half a mil would be good for me. And all these traces are at least 25 thou. Width 20 thou. That's half a mil. Half a mil. So that's how thick the traces have to be. I have done 10 thou. But you breathe on them and they blow away. I basically need all these tracks this thick. And the ground fill out to at least half a mil. 20 thou. God, what's this ring inside a ring here? I hope they're not seriously expecting this to be etched on there. Oh, man. What's the back look like? Oh, that's possible. Gonna have to sleep on this one. Let's look at the schematics. There's Frank Tyne's schematic here. But there's other ones as well. I think it's one of those ones with the masters and they link to the smaller ones. I wonder what this pro is. We might as well start with schematics, see what happens. Damn. Kikad 4. You suck. What do you do, remap? God, is it, are these are warnings. 200. 300. 419 warnings. Yeah, right. Now what? Just close it. Yeah, this is like the master one with the boxes you click on. Why does nothing happen? Damn, double click. Oh, these must be all the missing symbols with the question marks. What does the schematic look like? What was that? No, it's this thing. This has got connected traces. Everything's connected. 
but this thing has nothing connected. Damn. What do you do? You have to put that symbol here or something. You can't click on it. Oh, it's double click. Library symbol change. A schema error. Great. What's all this? Oh, Christ. What do you do? Look in here. Pick a part. And go OK. And it gets stuck onto here. How are you going to find this sim this symbol? What is it? An op amp? Hang on. 13, 12, 9, 10. This is like one big chip. But why is it split into four symbols? U202. Cancel, cancel. U202. LMV3241. LMV3241. Yeah. Who the hell's going to work this out? Man, look how many of them. Who's going to change all those symbols? Unless you can group them or something. Looks hopeless. Totally hopeless. I suppose I don't really need this schematic. And I don't know if I'm thinking of Eagle, but can't you click on a part and then it lights up in the other view? Oh, it did. Did that light up? R264. don't know if I'm thinking of Eagle then. 202, let's click on it. Oh, it did light up. So it is connected. Just the symbols are wrong. Tries 203 one click. Does that do anything? Yep. Okay, so that's connected. The only problem is you, nothing is connected with traces, so I suppose it's not that useful unless it's finished. Looks like it comes down to converting this all to KiCad 5, or uninstall the program and get KiCad 4, because I think I read somewhere they won't both run on one machine. So either one or the other. How do you get back? How do you navigate this thing? How come there's no file hierarchy here? Like an index. What's this? Looks like a file folder. Navigate schematic hierarchy. Oh, this must be it. Oh, okay. So this is all the schematics. Root. Yep. So that's how you work it. Oh, well. Yep, full of question marks. It looks like there's no symbols for anything in here. Leave sheet. Oh, okay, that just gets you back. Yep, nothing. Yep, totally useless. Probably too much work. And what's that pro thing? What the hell is this now? Oh, crap. This is the whole file structure here. What does it mean? So you can get to all of it from there. Don't worry about that. Did you keep parts full? That's not doing anything. Compact? Nothing. Frankenstein net? Nothing. Great. Oh, it's already open. Why is this blank? Gerber does nothing. No idea. Even though nothing works, it looks like Pro is the menu for all the others, so you open it first. I guess you have to learn KiCad before you can start. So that'll be another six months. I think I'll give that a miss. What was that other thing? This down here, Doc's eye bomb. Frankenstein latest. I suppose this one. Eye bomb. Oh, that's the interactive eye bomb I saw in the KiCad 5 demos. I think you can add this to KiCad. You can zoom in and out. You click on a part and they all light up. And when you've soldered them all on, you click one of these. To tell you it's finished. See? Same with the bottom view. Man, that, that's cool. 
placed. This I bomb, that's the best, man. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. The only thing it doesn't tell you the exact part. Footprint? 0.01 UF or oh, 8050 SMD. Diode seal 2. Yeah, not exactly digi-key part numbers. But still cool. Digi-key detailed. Open. This is not that useful. Oh, hang on, this number. That looks like a digi-key number. Don't know about that one. That's one as well. Uh, looks like all the columns are scrunched up and there's no label. So probably everything is here. Did you get dictionary? Does this help? Looks like DigiKey numbers. FT232 RL. FT232 RL. Looks like there's just enough to get it done. Now to conglomerate this mess. <laughs> Frickin' hell. I'm sick of this. Good riddance. Next week, a man's life hangs in the balance.